Hello, this is Ernesto Verdugo and I have a very interesting video for you. Um, a lot of people ask me why am I so much uh, pro Firefox and uh, so much against uh, Internet Explorer. And it's not really that I am against Internet Explorer. The thing is, uh, Firefox in my eyes is by far superior and I'm going to show you why. And I'm also re going to recommend you to definitely start using um, uh, Firefox instead of Internet Explorer. For me, I spend a lot of time uh, behind my computer and uh, searching and surfing the internet and doing stuff in the internet. And I would like always to have the the uh, possibility of having the flexibility of a browser like uh, Firefox. So let's just uh, simply get started. For example, one of the things that I like a lot from uh, Firefox is that you can actually get your um, uh, all your tabs here. You can actually have all, all the way all to uh, 16 tabs here so that you can look at them. You can uh, see them this way, you can see them this way, you can see them like this, or you can see them like this on a very, very cool uh, way and a very, very cool display. Now, if you want to, for example, go to, uh, let's say, to my Twitter page, I, uh, all I need to do is basically do that. Or I just go over here to my Facebook page, or um, I could just uh, quickly go into my uh, blog. So uh, all the th all the things that I am using, I just can have them there, and that goes very very quickly. Um, another of the things that I really really like is, for example, it offers you macros. So for example, if I, w I if I have repetitive tasks that, uh, uh, for example, that I need to go to a, a website and I need to ch uh, log in and get some information or whatever, basically all I need to do is record the macro. And then just basically play the macro, and uh, uh, Firefox will do all that all that um, uh, job for me without me doing anything, which is very very useful. Now let's say that I want to share stuff, that I want to dig it, or I want to share it to my Facebook account, or send it by Gmail, or uh, add it to my RSS Google Reader, or to put it on StumbleUpon Twitter, uh, whatever I want. Basically, all I need to do is click there, and it's all gonna, it's already going to be there. It has auto uh, automatically filled in a form, which also Internet Explorer has. But uh, I mean, of course, that's another of the things that they have here. For example, right now I am recording with a uh, Capture Fox. This uh, video is being recorded by Capture Fox, and it is really very useful. And you can see the the quality of the recording is also very very good. So that's another of the great things. Now let's let me just show you a few more of the things that I really uh, really really like about uh, about uh, using Firefox. For example, let's say that I go to Google and I let's say I'm going to Google myself. I type this and I click on Google, and immediately it's going to give me a little um, picture of what I'm going to be finding here on. Um, uh, on the website now, which is also very interesting, is for example, I don't even need to click on the page because I am going to get a possibility to actually read what's uh, on the page if I want to see it here, or um, I basically I can actually see the what is actually going to be found on this page through a cool preview. And uh, now, for example, let's say that I am look searching for images, which is something that I do uh, quite regularly. Uh, for example, I can go, go here for images. I can go here for image search and I can put, um, I don't know, I like a lot airplanes. So let's just put airplanes. So we have here airplanes. And what is really cool is it has already a cool iris um, inside. So basically, uh, what we're going to find is that we will be able to search really, really nicely for uh, fantastic images. Now, um, this is just some of the uh, things that I can I, I can uh, show you, but uh, the possibilities are amazing. I'll just tell you one more. This is also, also another thing that I really like. This one is basically um, your list reading pages. So, for example, instead of actually putting them into your bookmarks, you can just click here and uh, you will basically say, well, I want to read this information later, So, which is also very, very useful. Uh, you can print already from the, from the uh, page itself. Uh, there's so many uh, possibilities here. Now, of course, Firefox doesn't really come with all those, all those add-ons. What you need to do, if you are interested, you should first of all download uh, Firefox, which is for free, and then you should go to Firefox add-ons at addons.mozilla.org. And there's going to be hundreds of really, really cool add-ons that uh, you will be able to uh, put on your, um, on your Firefox in your computer.